So in this quick tutorial, what I'd like to do is demonstrate creating a new image style in Drupal 8 and then exporting that image style as a YAML file that we can include with our theme so that our theme can come with a default set of image styles whenever someone installs it. I've got a vanilla install of Drupal 8 here. So I've just installed it, not really done anything else. The first thing that I'm going to need to do is create an image style. So if I go to uh, configuration and then scroll down under media, I'm going to go to image styles. And then I'm just going to create a new image style. So I'll click add image style. I'll give it a name. We'll just name ours well, black and white. Looks like I've already created one named black and white before. Say create new style. It's going to create our new image style. Um, I need to add some effects so that it actually does something. This one is supposed to make things black and white. So I'll add the desaturate effect. I'll choose desaturate from the drop down and click add. The desaturate effect doesn't actually have any arguments or options that we need to set up. So it'll just apply it right away like so. I could also, if I wanted to say add a crop effect. So I'll choose crop from the drop down, click add. We'll say crop this to a width of 400 by 400 pixels. We'll add the crop effect. All right, so now we're desaturating things to black and white and cropping it to 400 by 400, making a nice little black and white square. We can update our image style so everything is saved. So now I've got this new image style. What I need to do is export this configuration into a file that I can include inside of my theme. I do that by going to the Manage tab, choosing Configuration. So we'll click on Configuration. From there, I'm going to choose under Development, the Configuration Management option. The Configuration Management screen allows me to do things like import and export the configuration that makes up my Drupal 8 site. From here, in order to export a single configuration object, I go to the Single Import Export tab. So I click on that. And then I click on this export sub tab. From the export sub tab, I need to choose the configuration type. So the type of data that I want to export, I want to export an image style. So I'll choose that from the list. Does an Ajax request in the background and updates this configuration name select list. Now I can see all of the image styles listed there. And I say, well, I want to export this black and white style that I just created. So I choose that. And what it does is it populates the text area underneath that selection widget with the YAML representation of the image style that we just created. You can see here it's got the name, black and white, our human readable label, and the two different effects that we applied. Image desaturate and the crop uh, and the arguments of 400, 400 pixels. So that's our square cropping going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this except for that first line that says UUID colon long random string. I don't actually need to include that UUID in the export that I put into my theme. So I'm just going to leave it out for now. The ones that are here under effects, though, we'll go ahead and leave. So now I need to take this content and I need to place it into a file with the appropriate name in the appropriate directory with inside of my theme so that when I enable the theme, Drupal discovers that file, reads in the configuration, and makes it active. This export tool has a neat feature where down here it shows us that the name of the file that we want to use in this case is image.style.black underscore white dot yml. So I'm going to need to create that file in a specific directory in my theme. Let's switch over to our code for a second. Over in my code, I've created a new, really simple theme. So if I open my themes directory, uh, I've got a directory named robots and a robots.info.yml file. It's just a .info file for my theme. Uh, it tells Drupal its name, etc. This is like the bare minimum that you need to do in order to have a theme. Just provide a, a YAML info file. So we've got that. That means our theme's going to show up under the appearance tab and we'll be able to enable it. It won't actually look like anything, but at least it'll be there. So what I can do is inside of my robots directory. I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to name that directory config. And then inside of that config directory, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to name this one install. So I'm saying to the configuration system, during the installation process for this particular theme, here's the YAML files that I would like you to parse and read configuration from. And then I remember that, okay, I need to create a new file. 
That file contains the content that we copy and pasted from our text area. So I'll go ahead and save that. And I'm going to save that with the name image.style black underscore white dot yml. This is the name that it showed us in that text area. Save. If I switch back to my site really quick, you can see this is where I got that name from. Image.style.black underscore white dot yml. Now I'm only including a single image style, but I could, if I wanted to, export any number of them and include them in my theme. I just have a separate file for each one. So now what I'm going to do, I've got that in my theme. I'm going to go to the Manage tab, and I'm going to go to Configuration, and under Media, I'm going to go to Image Styles. To demonstrate that this all works, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this image style. So I'll go ahead and delete our black and white image style, like so. Now, when I go to the Appearance tab, the black and white image style is no longer there. I go to the Appearance tab, and I scroll down under the list of uninstalled themes, there's the robots theme that we've got in our themes directory, our custom theme that includes the image style we just created. If I click install and set as default, so I'm enabling the theme and I'm setting it as the default. During that process, Drupal inspected that config directory, found the install subdirectory, and in that found our image style, and then hopefully imported it. So now if I go back to configuration, and I go to media and image styles, you can see that black and white image style, which we had previously just deleted, is there again. That's because it's contained within our theme and it's imported into the image styles system when the theme is installed. So that's configuring an image style and including it as a default image style with a custom theme.